Sneaker fam, what's going on? Jake back with another real and fake video for your view and pleasure. Uh, as you can see, these are the Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary or Jubilee, the official name. And in front of them is Nemesis Prime. I think that's the only transformer. There's a couple of other ones, but I uh, chose Nemesis Prime uh, because of the colorway. If it, it, it blends right in with the theme of the shoe. Uh, this is the MPP 10 oversized version uh, knockoff version of the official Takar MP10 Optimus Prime. Very nice, sleek, excellent. We're gonna get that out the way. We're gonna get with these shoes. I really don't know where to begin with this because of course I had these first and um, I was really anticipating getting, getting the shock drop and I missed out on those on the sneakers app. Um, I was in the gym and I thought it was gonna come out at 8.30 and it came out at Eight. So I thought it would, you know, I thought it was going to be the opportunity after Marcus Jordan spoke that you can get the shoe, but they did it beforehand. So that was my bad timing. So that was my mess up. And then I missed the second access to it. And then I missed the reserve locally on sneakers to pick it up in Lincoln Road in Miami. <laughs> and then I was waitlisted for all the other foot sites. And by almost 10 o'clock, and that's when I finally got off the waitlist and I was able to pick up. Um... I, I'm almost sure I could have got them off the sneakers app release day Saturday. Um, they were on there for about, you know, 10, 20 before they all sold out. But then I just heard like they oversold the product and they had to cancel people orders. So does that mean there's no restocks? Nah, I don't know. That might just up the value of the shoe. But I tell you what, the hype on these kicks uh, was crazy because um, put it like this. Don't take what you know, YouTube content creators say, just take it for a grain of salt because you can't gauge everyone uh, out here. So when they say they sleep, that don't mean everybody else gonna be sleeping on the shoe or they don't like the shoe or what, you know, the majority or the consensus says online, Twitter, whatever, about this particular shoe because listen, there was, the line, there was lines outside the mall, outside the stores, the foot stores and stuff like that, picking up their kicks and they were literally had their outfits on already with flip flops. So when they picked up the shoes, they were out the door with their gear on, ready to go out. So don't go at the hype. You like the shoe, get it. Don't worry about, you know, what hype be say. <sighs> Nevertheless, let's get on with this review. Finally got them from Champs. Got to give Champs credit. It was hard. It was aggravating. But yes, I got them. And I'm glad I didn't have to wait till, um, you know, Thursday or Friday to get the shoe from the sneakers app. So, uh, obviously, you can see the boxes are slightly different sizes. The quality of the box is a bit different. Um, one thing I noticed right, right off the bat is you can see this jump in on the fake box. Here's a jump man on the legit box where you can see it's more. The imprint is in there while this one is just printed on there. And look at the quality of the box. Nice sheen. Excellent quality where this one, you can, like you said, you can see the ridges in the box. The print's not there. A bit ashy there. Of course, there's the plastic cover on here. Let's see if this thing spins. It doesn't spin. And let's take a look at the label. And this is the fake. Take a look at it. All right. They got it here for 200 bucks. Did I say 200 bucks? No, 220, my bad. I'm like, oh, shoot. But I know what I paid for these things, 235. Here it is here, this is the legit pair. And this is not spinning either. Okay, they both have the bifold box. They both open up the same way, bifold box. That's them. And let's look, take a look at this. All right, the, let me move this right quick. We're gonna look at the paper from the fake. It's a bit more translucent. The same prints on there, but it's translucent. You can see it. It's not as a, it's not a higher quality type paper as you can see on this one. A lot thicker. Let me turn off one of these lights. One of these lights above. See that a bit better. All 
right? Let's get on with these kicks. Let it be known, truth be told, Air Jordan 11s are the best replicated shoe you can find. They make, uh, that's, it's the truth. They copy 11s very, very well. There's no doubt about it. So, this is the legit pair, champs. And yes, there, I mean, there's some flaws like the cutting the leather, you know, I see it. I can't stand these things on, on the midsole, the foam. That little orange peel on the leather. All right. Look at that carbon fiber look like it's almost reflective down there, right? All right. All right, let's pull out the left shoe. Let's pull out old lefty. Okay, what am I seeing here? This is the real shoe. I mean, I'm sorry, this is the, this is the fake shoe. This is not the real shoe. And I, there's something about this one. There's something about this one. The first thing I noticed was the ballistic mesh, which someone pointed out already. Usually it's more firm, it's not as wrinkled. So you can see the ballistic mesh on the real shoe. Has nice, firm and tight in the blockings there. This one, uh, I've seen updated ones because I got this one pretty early. I've seen updated ones where they fix that ballistic mesh. So these still might be floating around, but that's, that's one of the major, major signs. All right, all right, so looking around. Copper fiber, they won't see it, but yeah, not much of a difference with the carbon fiber or the bottoms. The fake is down here. This is a legit pair up top. But I, it's, it's something about the feel of the shoe that just got me, man. It feels, feels a bit different, and I, I can't pinpoint it. I cannot pinpoint it, but something's something's not right with the feel of the shoe. I really can't tell the icy sole, and I know this was gonna be the icy soles, just a different shade, but that's nothing. I've, I've seen that different with two legit pairs. Um, let's go with the collar. This is a bit wide here. This is tough. This is tough. It seems like, yeah, that's really, really tough. I could just see that the materials on here, where the 23 is, this is a more lighter shade here. It feels like a different material here. And you can tell, and then this print is wrong. I mean, this is like basic stuff. Like I say, this is for, Legit checking, not for you wearing your shoes or if you missed a drop or something and you want to go ahead and do that. No, that's that's not the reason for my videos. Just to make sure you ain't paying two, three, four hundred dollars for a fake, expecting to get a real. Oh my God, this is so, so tough. Really. The, the silver jump man is a bit different. It's like, like I said, it's like splitting hairs. Besides the ballistic mesh and some differences in the material, um, uh, let it be known, they don't use the same materials. They, they don't. And even if they did use same materials or something that's equivalent, it still doesn't negate the fact that it's a counterfeit shoe. It's a fake, you know, replica. It, it, whatever it is, it's, it's still fake, whether it's authorized, unauthorized, all those, you know, funky names. It's still, it's not a legit shoe. And I, I'm still like dumbfounded because I cannot find uh, any distinct differences. So basically what I can say is be afraid, be very afraid. Watch out if you didn't get it from the stores, run. So this is how the uh, fake one came like this, wrapped in paper. It does have the new style shoe tree. Uh, and it does, does say die cut sock liner. So 
legit says molded sock liner if you see it there move my light over here the lace thickness the laces are the same oh my gosh this is killing me i'm i'm really trying to find something hopefully you guys can see something this is a legit pair third spacing fake pair Third spacing, look at the jump man. Let's see the height of the tongue. Let's take a look at the toe box. It's basically just see it's a different shade on, on, on the milky, milky sole. That's about it. Jeez. Um, the peaks aren't as pronounced, and the cut on the fake is actually better than the legit pair. Uh, take a look at the stitching. The stitch pattern. This is tough. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is tough. All right. Pull out the insole. The jump man with the 25. This is the fake pair. And pull this bad boy out. Fake. Reel is up top. Splitting hairs are basically pretty much the same here. That it always looks like the, the fake ones are always printed here a lot clearer than the real ones, right? That just might be one of the signs. And this says MS12I and this says MS12G. So that's interesting. Take a look at the insides here. I will unlace this. Take a look at the inside there with the numbers and the stitching. Stitching's a bit different on the on the fake between the two. You see the stitching there? the stitching on this one that might be the one where you can tell the difference and then uh and then let's look at this in the back this is the fake pair that doesn't look very well does it yeah definitely a difference with that with that stamp Jumpman looks like a kid drew it. And this one looks nice and clean. Certain little things, it's the little things you gotta look for. Like I say, if you just want this, just to wear them, that's fine. That's not what I'm against. I don't care what you do with your money, you buy your fakes. It's just like, it's the sellers that's, that's selling these things and saying they're legit or just saying, oh, they're unauthorized, I got the plug in China, blah, blah, blah. They're still gonna crack you over the head for 300 bucks. Yeah, that's, that's my problem. So everything else, I don't care. Wear them, rock them, your life, do your thing. Uh, just gonna take a look at the second pair, see if there's any differences. Uh, I also will read, this is so beautiful. I'm telling you, on foot, this is a whole different animal. These things look absolutely amazing on foot. Absolutely amazing. So sweet. It seems like this has a more silver, reflective sheen to it than the... Uh, then the fake pairs. This has it slightly, but it's not as pronounced. I'm telling you, something's weird about that. And you can see the ballistic mess on this one's a little bit better, but you can tell there's, there's a material difference on this as well. I mean, the tote box looks good. The midsole actually is better, has less marks and stuff on there than the... Uh, then the legit pair, you can see all these marks on them, all the marks with the foam. It happens all the time, all the time. This shoe feels, listen, these fakes, and that's the difference. You know, when people like to say, you know, they're the same and this and that, this shoe is a whole lot heavier than a legit pair. There's a distinct difference. 
And that's when they tell you, when I talk to these guys in China, these replicators, and I say, what's the difference with these shoes? You say, there's a lot of differences, but mainly is the cortex of the shoe. It's the soul of the shoe. It's the inner workings of the shoe. You're not going to get the same thing. That's where they cut corners. So they're not the same. And I know people are thinking about, you know, the fakes, you know, from back in the day or the AAA fakes. And it's like, no, nah, this can't be fake because what they used to is this. Triple A fakes, you know what I mean? The, these things like this where the patent leather is bad and the foam is real squishy and the jump man looks like, Lord have mercy, you know what I mean? No carbon fiber. This is what you guys are still thinking about. Regardless, this and this, they're still fakes. It's just a better quality fake. <laughs> that's it uh, I'm gonna do a black light and I'm gonna go through some production dates and I'm gonna call it a day I mean let me know let me know what you guys see when it comes to stuff like this or where the stitchings is on the ballistic mesh and stuff like that where there's might be some spacing differences like I say but it's just splitting hairs it's just splitting hairs um, like I say the 11s are the best replicated fakes around there there's no bar none hands down that is it so let me dig into here to see if I can find this production date and try to clear up this mess. I'm sorry about the mess. These bifold boxes are, or something else. All right. This is the retail pair. Uh, and then deep down in here, and I'm going to read it. Uh, bear with me. 5, 12, 20, 7, 16, 20. And get it in there, you zoom in, get on it. Let me brighten up this light a little bit. Let's see if I get in on this one. This one also is 5, 12, 20, 7, 16, 20, same as the left shoe. Pull out this fake here. They put this one out since I got this one laced. And look, they got even got the plastic still on this one covering it. Read the production date on this one, and it is. 4, 15, 20, 6, 2, 20. And this, this tag, they even, the tag is bigger in here, this, this label in here. And look how the feel on this mesh is. And you guys, yo. Definitely a difference in here. Look at that. I can actually pull this out. Sorry. Let's see if we can get it in here. That tag. Here you go. This is really, really flimsy here. And this is where you're supposed to get your support. And it's really flimsy here. Read this one here. And it is... 4, 15, 20, 6, 2, 20. You're going to have to maybe pause it, see if you can zoom in. There you go. And it's time to bring out the black light. And that should conclude this video. All right. This is first the fake pair. Being black light. Right. I don't see much. Just a little, just basic residue. Not much. Ah, these tassels are going. All right. Let me put out a legit pair here, where you can see. Hmm. All right. Definitely 
when I was telling you that I seen that there is a difference with the, the souls, the milky souls, the soul is glowing on the, on a legit pair. There's the basic residue that, you know, you seen even on the, uh, the breads when I did them and stuff like that. So I love all that residue, but you got that milky sole and these pods are exactly the same color down here. But yeah, it's that milky so That might be your only saving grace if you're trying to legit check these bad boys. But you can tell that these were mass produced. And you can see that there's a lot of residue all over the place on the legit pairs. So I already know that this one's a fake. Tassels are glowing. There's a lot of residue all over this one as well on the shoe itself, on the mesh up here. If the camera can't catch it, some residue here, and that that sole is not glowing. So here is the legit pair. So that's all you got is a glowing sole. That's about it. Everything else is like it's really, really splitting hairs. Nevertheless, there's still big time, big time differences. On these, it's the back of them. So we get some more clarity here. Let's see what we're seeing here. So you see these are brighter here, and there's nothing glowing here. That's it. Other than the, the scaling or silhouette of the shoe, I mean, like, like I say, on foot. It's like whatever, just be careful out there. Just definitely be careful out there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely I want you guys to um, <laughs> subscribe. I'm trying to get to seven grand before the end of the year. Uh, so um, support your boy, man, support your boy. I appreciate all y'all, appreciate you guys watching. Like I say, hit that thumbs up, man. Let's get this thing circulating. It's your boy Jake signing out, peace out.